In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a complete tutorial to the Keywords Everywhere Chrome extension slash app. Now, this tool is an amazing one for helping you with your SEO, content marketing, competitor research, PPC, and all of those kind of different things. So I'm gonna walk you through all of the different features, what they do, um, how to best use them, and things that I've used them for in the past. So let's get right into it. So first of all, to go ahead and actually get it, you need to go onto the website here, click on the install button and install it to whichever one you have. So if you have Firefox, Edge or Chrome, go ahead, click on the install button. It will take you to the respective installation page. Uh, you can see this one here goes to the Chrome store. You just install it here and then you can go ahead and you can purchase a plan if you want to, uh, or you can do the free version, but I'll talk a bit more about the pricing plans later. So something to take into account is that when you have the app on, pretty much everything you do on Google is going to be using credits. So I'd recommend turning it off all the time, except for when you're using it. This just means that you won't waste your credits and each Google search can use quite a few credits. So that's something to also take into account. But what you wanna do once you've installed it and you want to start using it is we just wanna press the button to on here and this will start all the features. So let's talk about the Google search kind of features here. The first thing you can do, which I find is a pretty good one, is to see how much traffic a specific search term is getting. So we can go into Google here and we can put a search term in, such as um, buy gardening gloves, like that. And if we enter and the app is on, it's gonna take us to the new page here and it's gonna show us a few different things. So what we can see here, first of all, is the search volume. So buy gardening gloves has a 70 a month search volume, which doesn't seem very high to be honest. And what we can also do is we can go into the search bar here. And once it's in this sort of mode, we can then look at all the different search terms here. And next week it's going to show you the amount of search you gets, the average cost per click. And I believe this one here is the competition. You can also see a little chart here for the trend of the um, searches. So obviously something like this is gonna spike in the summer and then go down in the winter. So what I've done here is I've searched gardening gloves and you can see the volume is 40,000 searches per month. The average cost per click is 50 cent or 49 and the competition is one. So I believe one is the highest competition. Um, that means it's very competitive. And I think the lower the competition is, the easier it is. I believe it goes between zero and one and it uses decimal places. What we can do from here is we can scroll down and you're gonna see on the right hand side a lot of different metrics here. So we can see the SEO difficulty, uh, brand query, we can see off page difficulty and on page difficulty. So these are all different metrics that might be important to you. You can also see the trends chart here by clicking on this. This will take you to the Google Trends for the search term and it will be able to show you all of the different views per week or searches per week that is. Then it's also down here gonna give you some topical keywords, which are keywords that are gonna be similar to the ones you're looking at. So you've got this one here, it shows you the volume, the cost per click um, here, the competition. So you can get a good gauge of how many views a search term is actually getting. It's also gonna give you some related ones here. So gardening gloves, ladies, it's gonna tell you the same stuff here. And you're also gonna see people also searched for here, which are just other keywords that you might not have thought about, which might have less competition, and um, that kind of thing. And then we've got a long tail keywords as well. So obviously the long tail ones are easier to rank for, um, and you might find some good ones here. Now, another cool thing that you can do with this app is once you type in a search term and you see all the things that are ranking, you can actually see some things about this site. So it's gonna give you all of these different things. So it's gonna give you the domain authority. So this is how um, it's ranked in terms of authority on Google. It's gonna give you the trend, the spam score, link, um, the link here. Uh, it's gonna give you the referring domains and the total backlinks. So you can go ahead and you can look at all of this data here. Um, and as well, it's gonna give you the search traffic, um, that's for US on that specific one. And then it's also going to give you the website traffic. So you can see organic traffic for this URL is 900 a month. Organic traffic for the whole site is 900,000. 
total keywords on that URL which it ranks for there and total keywords that it ranks for on the whole site is this amount here. So we can see this is really useful first of all just for seeing the amount of traffic we can get from a specific search term. So if you're going to use gardening gloves the guy that's ranking top is getting this amount of US traffic. So it's just a good way to gauge it. And you can also see by his authority that it can be beaten if you've got more authority than them. And if we go down, we can see all these different ones here. Some of them have got good authority, some of them don't. This one here hasn't got the best. Um, the spam score is kind of high. So this means that you could potentially outrank it. So what we can also do is we can go on to um, this first one, for example, this one that's ranking. And as I said, we can go over here and we can look at the keywords that it ranks for. So 112, we can click on that. And this is going to give us the keywords that it's ranking for for this um, URL that it showed up. So it's going to show us the keyword. It's going to show us the estimated traffic. And this is US traffic. It's going to show us the search position. Um, that's number two. The global volume, the CPC, the competition, and the trend, and then the trend. So 52% um, means it's going up, obviously, and then minus means it's going down. So we can see here, in terms of competition, these are all pretty competitive keywords. Um, and we can just see kind of what keywords they are ranking for. You can see here it's going to be pretty hard for us to break into anything, but maybe if we're doing paid, it will be, we can kind of see or gauge what the costs are going to be so we can work out if it's going to be potentially profitable or not. So that's just what you can do with the search feature. But if we go back over to the app here, we have a few other ones we can do. So if we go to this one here by domain, um, we click on it. Um, this is going to give us, well, actually, first we'll have to go onto a site. So let's go onto this Gardener's World site. This is obviously some kind of blog. If we go up here and then we go to the domain section here we're going to be able to see the keywords that this domain ranks for so top thousand keywords for the entire website for gardenersworld.com we can now see all of the keywords that they're ranking for and the traffic they're getting for it so this is also good for content ideas so honeysuckle here is going to is getting them 21,000 traffic a month that's their position so the global traffic um, and you can see the CPC and the competition. So here we can actually see, oh, this one here is, um, it's got good traffic. It's got good, good traffic. And you can see the global competition is much lower than this. So there is a potential that you could get in with this keyword here. So we could go ahead and look it up and see um, what other people are ranking for it. So there's obviously some kind of plant here. Um, so yeah, this would be a good keyword to potentially look at ranking for. You'd have to compare and look at people's um, authority and stuff, see if you could outrank them. But you can see it's not as saturated as the other sort of keywords on here. And we can go through the list and look at other keywords. So this one here also has good volume and low competition. Same with this and this. So this is just a good way to kind of find keywords that they're ranking for on their site that you could potentially look at. You can also go ahead here and export it as a PDF. Uh, Excel, CSV, print it. There's a ton of different options you've got here. You can also do this for a specific um, URL. So uh, if we went onto a specific URL like this one here, we could go up to here and instead of doing it for the domain, we can do it for this specific URL here. Well, that's basically a beginner's guide to using keywords everywhere. Just a few ways you can go ahead and start using it. It is a pretty cool tool and it allows you to see if there's traffic and competition for specific keywords. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Comment down below, it helped, and I'll see you in the next one.